tree in the background or middle ground and the trees in the foreground but still a little bit to go switch to a really raggedy synthetic brush here that gives me some really unpredictable brush strokes that are really good for for these um, for foliage and things because you could just twist the brush while you're painting and it'll give you a totally different stroke if you're just dabbing It's kind of like a random brush in Photoshop a little bit. Establishing the light and dark portions of this branch or this uh, bush that I'm painting here. get into this foliage here. This foliage is going to really start to show the scene that I'm actually painting. Without it, you don't really get the sense of what exactly I'm doing here. Just covering up the white of the paper, which is kind of distracting there. What I'm mixing here is just, they're all greens, but I'm just varying the color and temperature and just to, so they're not all the same color leaves and stuff everywhere. Because they weren't in the actual scene itself, there was a lot of variation in the color of these leaves that I was painting, even though they were all more or less the same type of leaves except for the ones that I just painted there They're a little bit different I usually hold the paper towels in my hand, but since I was holding the video camera in, the, in my left hand, I couldn't really do it. But usually I don't 
like dab on the roll like that. can't really see obviously but I do a lot of squinting it's actually kind of interesting uh, sometimes I was actually looking at my painting through the video camera while I was painting which is pretty interesting because it's kind of like um, what do you call it in Photoshop the um, navigation window you know how that's kind of a, a easy way to see your whole painting at the same time? Uh, well, this is like the, the real life equivalent of it, having that little video camera there. So, um, you get to see really quickly, like, um, I don't know if this ever happens to you, but when you get home and you scan your drawing or painting, whatever you're doing, or take a picture and you look at it on your screen and you see that it's uh the composition isn't really quite right but you didn't really see it or there's like a weird negative shape that you didn't see before but you don't really see it until you see the whole thing in a small version of it well that's kind of what you get here instantly whenever you want when you have this little video camera in your hand so it's kind of a nifty little tool there um, even though it is kind of distracting holding the, the video camera and trying to paint at the same time and trying to remember that you are video uh, taping yourself here So I'm just establishing um, these trees here, trying to give a little bit of sense of three-dimensionality to them. There's a lot of moss growing on these trees, so that's what I'm painting here. Establishing the lights on these branches. Uh, it's really this is probably the warmest part of the painting here. I'm using almost a straight yellow ochre, which is plenty warm compared to the the green that the predominant green of the rest of the painting. Where I start putting in some of the darkest darks in the whole painting. You'll actually see it really come together once you start putting in the darkest darks. It's like you had the lightest lights with the color of the, the paper there. So adding in the darkest darks gives you that full range. 